Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out today. Uh, we are here, it's a joint event between BART and MTC. Um, so we're here with a, a fellow director, Gail Murray, as well as the MTC Metropolitan Transportation Commission Vice, Vice Chair, Amy Worth. Uh, my name is Bob Franklin, and I'm the BART Board President. And we're here today after a long time to announce a new way to load the Clipper card. And, and you can now, at all BART stations, use the ticket vending machine to very easily add cash, which will be a great convenience for if you're riding BART or any of the other operators that currently um, accept Clipper card. And there are many more that are um, continuing to come online. And it's a great way to um, ease the boarding process. You don't have to fumble for change at the bus or to um, quickly and to use this Clipper card instead of having to deal about a demagnetized ticket at BART or a small 15 cent ticket. This, this solves the problem. And it'll also be great in the future as we begin to implement different fare, ch um, uh, fare changes. If we want to have a BART and a bus fare pass or a, um, a Muni and, and different combinations of transit passes, this will be the, the ticket to all those changes. So I, um, it's part of our ongoing collaboration with MTC. Uh, we also have a big uh, project that's coming up that um, Director Murray will touch on about our fleet of the future. We're also in collaboration with MTC for that. So with that, I would like to bring up the MTC Vice Chair, Amy Worth. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming out to Contra Costa County on this cold day. I was commenting that these BART stations are designed for sunny California, because it, uh, when it's sunny, they're wonderful, but when it's cold, it's, it's freezing, so thank you. Um, once again, I want to thank BART for its hospitality and for all the participating transit agencies, the Clipper program contractors, and MTC staff who have worked tirelessly to make Clipper the smashing success that it is. When Clipper was launched 11 months ago, transit passengers around the Bay were using their old TransLink cards about 63,000 times each weekday. Now Clipper is experiencing 450,000 boardings every day and the number continues to climb. I think that proves the old baseball adage that if you build it, they will come. On the BART system alone, more than 100,000 riders every weekday are already using Clipper to pay their fares. Last month, Clipper accounted for the fully 30% of all BART fare payments another number that continues to rise. And today I'm very happy to announce that MTC and BART have completed an upgrade to BART's ticket machines, so they now work with Clipper cards. If you're keeping score, that inclu includes 302 ticket vending machines at all 44 of the BART stations, and depending on where you start the timeline, the day was either long in coming or lightning fast. The original contract change order to begin software development for adding Clipper functionality to the BART tickets was signed in 2005. But once the software was ready, installation and testing was done in less than three months. Add it all up, Clipper is now easy, faster, and more convenient for all BART passengers, who can now use the ticket vending machines to add cash value to their Clipper cards or check the cash balance on their cards. I'm also very happy to report that adding value to your Clipper card with ticket machines is really easy. Just tag the card at the machine, enter the amount of value you want to add to your card, whether you pay by cash or a credit card, and tag your card again. That's it. If you don't already have a Clipper card, that's easy too. In fact, there's a My Transit Plus location right around the corner from here at the Walnut Creek BART station where you can pick up an adult Clipper card. Adult Clipper cards are also available at over 200 other retail locations around the Bay Area, including more than 100 Walgreens stores. And thanks to Walgreens for providing that community service. Seniors, youth, and adult Clipper cards are available at transit agency ticket offices and the Clipper kiosk um, at the Embarcadero BART station at the Ferry Building. And you can also go online, 511.org or clippercard.com. I want to also mention that Clipper is sending ambassadors to many BART stations over the coming months to help people sign up for Clipper cards. And to help seniors who ride BART, we'll have a number of opportunities for folks to sign up for the senior Clipper card in the coming months. So even though we're here to celebrate the installation of 
Clipper compatible vending machines, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Clipper, Clipper's auto load option, where you can just link a credit card to Clipper and never worry about it again. Clipper is without doubt the best way to get around the bay on BART. And here to tell us more about BART and Clipper card is my good friend and BART director, Gail Murray. Thank you and welcome to Walnut Creek. I'm the BART director for Central Contra Costa County, which includes this Walnut Creek BART station. And uh, I'm very happy about the new Clipper cards because one of the things that's most important to me is to make this convenient for customers. And Clippers will make it convenient for customers. And I'd like to really hone in on the senior issue. Um, people who are seniors or people with disabilities get a fabulous discount. They get over two-thirds of the price reduced. For example, uh, they only would have to now pay $9 for a $24 card. Well, with the Clipper card, they don't have to go someplace special for that card, like Walgreens or um, Safeway or something. They can, they can add value to their cards right here at the station. They don't have to go get a new ticket every time they want to get a senior or a, a, a disabled card. So first of all, people do have to, though, sign up in person to show that they're eligible for this great discount. And once they have their regional transit connection card, their RTC card, then they can auto load their card right here at the station. Um, as Amy mentioned, there are going to be other places where people can go in person because MTC wants everybody to get this card. So today, Tuesday, at between 4 and 7, they can go to Lafayette or Rockridge. Seniors can and show up in person and get authorized for the Clipper card. Tomorrow, they can go to Pittsburgh Bay Point or they can go to the Concord Station. So we're urging all the seniors and people with disability to get on board too so that they don't have the inconvenience of having to track down these cards all the time. They can just add value right here. I wanted to uh, turn this over to Bob, but first I want to put in a plug for the seat labs that we're having. We're going to have brand new cars one of these days, and we're having seat labs uh, at Pleasant Hill BART Station on June 14th so people can try out the, the new seats. So get the Clipper card, try out the new seats, and ride BART. Now back to you, Bob. Thank you, Director Murray. Just a couple more things. Um, first of all, we're here at the Walnut Creek BART station to, to highlight the, at, at the, out in the suburbs, it's a little harder to find a place where you can get Clipper. Well, now it's more convenient and because it's available at all 44 of our BART stations. And lastly, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of how easy it is to tap, put the money, select your project, and tap, and just to show you um, how easy it will be to, to load your Clipper card. That was it, and that's uh, my contribution to Mr. Goodwin's daughter over here. Uh, so with that, we can take any questions that you may have. We'll just do it separately after okay. we're done. Okay, well, great. Well, thank you very much for coming, everybody.